Yo, my skateboard is crooked. What in the... I don't think y'all understand how legendary this is. This is a big moment for this channel. The biggest sneaker unboxing I have ever done. I'm super stoked for it, so let's get it poppin'. Let's go. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. First things first, I wanna give a huge shout out to anybody that's coming from the Yeezy Wine Custom video. That video, for some reason, in the last couple days has been popping off, so I really appreciate you guys. It went from like 30,000 views to 50,000 to 80,000 real quick, so thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe right now. You gotta do it right now. I'm watching you. So today, we're gonna be taking a look at the sneakers that I purchased from GOAT. As y'all can see behind me, we have a ton of sneakers to go through, so let's quit the talking and let's start the unboxings. <laughs> If you guys watch my channel, you know that I haven't really been picking up a lot of sneakers lately. And I have these moments where it's like, I will go back and kind of look at what I used to have and what I sold. And I get that same like nostalgic feeling because a lot of these sneakers that I'm about to show you are the ones that I had when I first started collecting. And I either sold it or traded it for something just because money was kind of tight back then where it's like, you can have one or the other. So I ended up trading them and I kind of missed these shoes. So I went ahead, looked at GOAT and I found a lot of them. So I'm really stoked to do this unboxing video. You guys are gonna feel the nostalgia. I'll show the old Instagram photos and everything. So let's get it cracking with the first package. I don't know what order this is gonna go in. So we're just gonna take a look at these sneakers. I hope y'all are ready. Oh, okay. This one's not necessarily a nostalgic sneaker, but it's one that I've been eyeing for a little bit. We have a Vans box right here. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know what it is? This one is a size 10 skate high, and it comes with the GOAT authentication card. GOAT is a middleman and they guarantee authenticity. Each sneaker that you buy is inspected by their team and it's sent out to you. So you make sure you never get that foo-foo and you get the goody goodies. So here we go. The first pickup of the day is going to be the Skull Pile Van Skate Highs by Supreme. I got these because they look really clean. I wasn't really trying to pay the resale price that these were going for, so I went ahead and got them used. And I'm telling you guys, you can find some really nice used sneakers for a fraction of the price of a new one. So if you can find it in good condition or cleanable condition, I would highly recommend checking out used sneakers. And like I said, I missed out on the release day and I wasn't trying to pay a crazy resale price. I believe I got these for like $100. Bucks. So if you look through the app, you could find the steals and deals. I'm telling you guys, a lot of people are sleeping on that app and that's how I found a lot of these gems. But moving on, let's check out the nostalgic sneakers that I was talking about. There's gonna be some of these ones in the mix. That's just how it is. But you know, your boy's trying to get his sneaker game back on lock and on point. So we had to do it. We had to kill him with the skate highs. Let's see what these babies are. Let's see. This is how I would imagine Christmas every freaking morning. Just unboxing a ton of sneakers. Slack box. Let's take a look at these bad boys. Oh, another authentic verification card. Yeah, the Raptor 7s from 2012. These came out when I was in high school. And again, back then, money was pretty tight for me. I didn't really have a job or anything. I was just hustling, cleaning shoes for people. So I was very specific on what I would buy and I would be really cautious with my money. So I went ahead, checked the app, and I saw these things for sale. Again, in used condition, but these are really crispy. I wish I felt this shoe when it first came out because this new buck feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel like a cheap new buck. And look at the bottoms probably worn maybe one or two times. A classic silhouette with a classic colorway. Can't go wrong with the Raptor 7s. And man, I can't complain with these. These and the Bordeaux 7s were probably one of my favorite 7s that I have ever released. So I'm glad to have these in my collection. Big box. I really need to get a new knife. This one's getting dull. I keep saying that, never happens. Look at that. Okay, okay, okay. Drum roll, please. Ka-chow. 
Yeah, the great fives that recently released with no laces. I have a video in the future that we'll be releasing showing you guys how to add the laces to these sneakers. I think a lot of people that were into Jordans back then could relate. Whenever you could see that Nike Air on the back, you know that person that's rocking it knows their stuff. You know what I mean? So I would have the Blacksmith 3's Nike Air on the back. A lot of my 6's would have that Nike Air. I had a couple Jordan 5's with that back in high school. And I felt like, you know, when I had it, I was the man. So this one gave me that feeling again classic colorway i just don't really like how they did the no laces on it i feel like this sneaker has to have laces it looks way better with it so i'm going to be showing you guys how to add the laces to these jordan fives right here so if you guys want to see that video definitely make sure to comment let me know what you think about it and we will be making that video shortly and i'm sure by now you guys know about the deal that Foot Locker has with goat if you guys don't know about it you've been living under a rock i got you don't even worry about it so Foot Locker invested $100 million in GOAT. I think it's really cool that Foot Locker actually sees the value in a resale marketplace and believes in GOAT enough to invest $100 million. That's money, Sonny. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Initial thoughts, first opinions. I'll admit it, like when I first heard about that news, I was scrolling through Instagram. It was probably like three or four in the morning. I was just scrolling like, and you know when it's so early like you really don't believe your eyes so you're just like and you fall back asleep and then in the morning you're like yo dog that was real happens to me all the time let's get this next box started this is the fourth sneaker that we're unboxing today let me know if you guys like these unboxings maybe i'll keep it coming a lot of these sneakers like i said were ones that i either had before or always wanted so it's really cool for me i'm really hyped to add these to my collection is it bad that i'm blanking out on what i ordered this is a cement four box and i don't remember what i remember now Oh my God, how could I forget this? Bruh, I almost forgot. I ordered Travis Scott 4s. These things are so clean. Oh my God. The 5s were brand new, but these were in the Warren section and they look so damn good. You honestly can't really tell unless you look at the bottoms. Maybe worn one to two times, but look at the uppers on these things. Straight butter when these first came out they were going for money they're like 450 500 but then a second drop of them happened and that just killed the resale value so it dropped it down a bit they're in the 300 ish range i'm telling you guys the steals and deals are on goat if you guys want to download it i have a download link down below in the description check it out i'm sure a ton of y'all already have it on your phone but make sure to download it if you guys don't have the app already you're missing out on the steals and deals all right fifth box if you made it this far in the video comment pickle down below let's confuse some people just have a whole bunch of pickle comments all right let's see oh the, oh whoa 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 okay very important sneaker right here this is one sneaker that i feel a lot of people don't know about and people are sleeping on it if i post this on instagram i guarantee you guys that people will ask what these are so it's a very legendary shoe so these right here oh Almost dropped it, almost dropped it. Can I get a like for the catch? Oh my God. I see everybody rocking off-white blazers, off-white this, off-white that, but like who actually messed with blazers before off-whites were even a thing? Y'all know me, I was part of the Nike SB era, so I was rocking blazers in high school, and these were one of my favorite blazers to ever rock. These were like my special Friday shoe. Like when I wanted to stunt, I would wear these vanilla ice nike sb blazers just the color blocking on the shoe is amazing you have that red that aqua blue goes really well with each other the difference with this versus the other blazers is that it actually has some nice stitching on the side you see those stars right there embroidery the swoosh right here is leather as well as the back tab right here so this was a very high quality nice looking shoe i'm wearing these with jeans and a white tee that's it that's a killer fit the shoes will do the talking definitely glad to have these back in my collection they did not come with the box of course these were used again but i mean look at that condition they're a little bit dirty they can use a cleaning but these came out in 2006 so what is that let me do a quick math calculation 2006 is 2019 now so what that's 13 years and the shoe looks like this fire fire 
fire. Goat is where the deals are at, baby. I'm telling you guys. Don't sleep on the youth section. By the way, if you guys like these videos and you want me to continue like the steals and deals on Goat, let me know. I was going through the app searching and searching and searching and I found so many good things. I just didn't want to go overboard with this video. Air Jordan 8 box. Y'all know what it is? The Aqua 8s. I forget what year these released in. I think it was 2015. I just remember I was in college when these released and I already had the 07 version. So I skipped out on this pair right here. But now we have the most recent release of the Aqua 8s in my collection. It just got to the point where it's like the older shoes were getting so old and it just wasn't looking too good. I know a lot of people didn't like the speckles on the midsoles, but honestly, I don't think it's a bad look in my opinion. This will always be a legendary colorway. And quick tip for you guys that rock Air Jordan 8s or want to rock Air Jordan 8s, you gotta undo the straps. That's the only way to wear it, okay? This is the OG way. You let the flaps hang, kind of just bend it back and loosen up the laces. Rock it like this. Don't rock it all choked up. You're a silly boy if you do that. Let it flap. Let those straps flap. That's what they're meant for. If you play basketball, I get it, strap it, but loosen up the laces and let them hang, baby. All right, y'all, that was it. That was the sneaker rundown, sneaker pickups for this month. I think I'm gonna cap it right there. That was a lot of shoes. If you guys don't have Goat installed on your phone yet, I'll have the link down below in the description. It will be the first link. Check out their used sneaker sections. That's where you'll be finding the best steals and deals. Check up on it regularly and you'll be able to find some cool stuff like this pair right here. It looks pretty new, doesn't it? But this is a used sneaker and I got this one for like a hundred bucks. So very cheap. Check out the app and also let me know what you guys think about this video. Did you guys like it? Do you want more hauls like this in the future? I used to do a lot of these back then when I was buying shoes like crazy, like six or seven pairs a week. But again, I've been holding back for a little bit and slowly maybe might get back into it again. We'll see how this one goes, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace. I said I'm driving Mercedes, my windows not tinted, they look at me crazy I ride through my city, I talk to that bitch like look what you made me We came from the basement, now look at our statements She calling me baby, calling me lately All this shit changed when I got the Sadies